How's it going, sisters, mates? This is Mr. Charles, and we're back with Clanad, the visual novel experience with the Missile San route. Alright, previously we found out that Missile was dumped long, long ago, and I guess she never really got over it because that seems to be the thing that's on her mind at the moment when she got consulted with by a student that was trying to consult with her. But now that we found out, that she was dumped by a guy, what are we gonna do about it? Are we gonna tell the press? Are we gonna tell, like, I oh, don't know, Sunahara? Are we just gonna fucking leave her to it? Well, let's see that now, shall we? What do you plan on doing now that you finally succeeded and make me talk about this boy from long ago? Are you going to embrace me so that you'll make me forget all about that guy? Well, I can't if you go and say it up front. I said it up front exactly because it would bother me if you did that. Well, fair enough. I really wonder what this guy's like now, to be honest. That's good then. I quite enjoy bothering older woman. Because you're a fucking bully, I guess. So, I guess you've had your fill now then. Thank goodness. Just so you know, I haven't had nearly enough yet. Then do whatever you want. If you also enjoy making older women cry, that is. Mm. <sighs> I guess it's my loss here. I crawl out the futon and scratch my head. I'm really jealous of that guy, you know that? I'm guessing he must have been pretty amazing. Sai-san comes and sits next to me. The cat jumps from my arms over to her lap. The fucking traitor. Mate, we were enjoying the food from together and you fucking left me. Well, that's cats for you. And curls himself up. Sai-san begins to stroke his back softly. He wasn't amazing at all. I'd almost say he was ridiculously plain. So plain, he really didn't match up with someone like me. Oh, are we going to find out? Are we going to... Oh... No, we're just going to go to Sunahara's room, apparently. Sigh. I guess it really didn't work out in the end. I step over Sunahara, who sprawled out on the floor and settled myself down in the same spot as always. What didn't? You talk, you talk about her boobs? Why is this all this kid cares about? Why? Why? I want to see this guy get into an emotional relationship. Actually, better yet, I want to see this guy get married and see how painful that fucking marriage is, how long it fucking lasts. Probably get a divorce after one week. Don't put me in the same league as you. Huh? But weren't you working hard so you could see her boobs? Who the hell works hard for something like that? So what, you were really going for her? Somehow I do feel like that's what this has turned into. I wonder why. Or maybe, you know, Tomoe is actually a decent human being. And fucking Sunahara just needs to stop being a dickhole. How should I know? Although, if you think about it, I guess it's probably that, you know, her boobs. Shut up about her boobs already. Hey, don't look down on her boobs, or it's gonna come back to bite you in the ass later. But boobs don't have teeth, so how are they gonna do that? <laughs> okay, cool. How's that ever going to bite me in the ass? Well, it might. And when it does, then when you start going, boob shocker, it's already going to be too late. No need to worry, because there's something I'm definitely not going to say no matter what. You never know, maybe Sunahara will put you up to it. Maybe there'll be a little mini game at some point where you have to guess what the what the thing is that that's me doing boobs and then electricity. Boob shocker. You're going to have to like, you know, do that a charades game, aren't they? Well, to each his own, I guess. Just make sure you won't regret it later. Yeah, what you're saying definitely isn't making any sense. Uh, seriously, I was a fool for asking you. Who else were you going to ask? They don't have friends. Uh, you look pretty troubled despite yourself. Is it about her boobs? Stop being gay! I'm begging you, just leave the boobs alone, man. I love how th th we're always the one annoying Sunahara, but now he's the one getting us back. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. No matter what, it just seems like it's Pusei Sans equals boobs to me. She'd punch you if she heard you say that, you know. Well, that's certainly true. Let's call them Obobs from now on then, so she won't find Obobs. Can't just call them Bobs. Obobs just sounds like a weird fucking thing to say. Like, man, Messiah Sans Obobs are huge. Yeah, she totally gonna figure that out. I'm telling you, she won't. Bet money on that. Her Obobs are gigantic! I'd love to get sandwich in between her Obobs. It's a really weird word to say. That does not roll off the top. Does, does he have a Pokemon book there? Sorry, I'm only just noticing that. Right below the, the radio. Does that not look like the Pokemon logo? I, mean, I could just be me, I guess. All right, I'll try to get distracted. I'm sorry, I just wanted to point it out there. I guess I'll try it out sometime. Sigh. I've been sighing a lot as of late. 
It's almost as if I've been I've caught Masai-san's bad habit. Well, I guess we're looking down on humanity as well now, from up high in our castle. That's right, that woman is really one to sigh a lot. And in the end, she'll still go along with whomever she's talking to. And I think back to on her demeanor like this, I find myself smiling. That's right, I finally realize it now. I want to forever be at her side and watch her as she does these things. You say that, but you know, I don't think you're gonna end up with her to be honest. I mean, uh, like, this is an alternate timeline, so it's not like you're gonna like live happily ever after. I want her to sign for me, and I want her to continue going along with my selfish ways. What are you grinning for, all by yourself? Um, could it possibly be obobs? I hope it's not obobs, because I don't want to keep saying obobs. If you've got something funny, why don't you tell me to? Sorry, but this is one joke you're never going to get. Huh? Alright, that's one way to end the conversation. The next day, I stopped by the dorm yet again. Knock knock! Coming! Kachik! The door opens, and besides, I'm peeks through. And then she slams the door because I'm fuck ugly and she doesn't want anything to do with me. Or, or is she gonna let us in? I don't know. What? It's you, Okazaki? What's this? You normally never knock! I just figured it'd be rude to walk in just like that. Well, it is rude. So what do you think would happen if you walked in on me changing clothes or something? That was actually what I'd been aiming for though. Really? Really? You dummy, I keep the door locked whenever I'm changing. Well, then just stand there, come on in. Uh, Miss Aisan? I came here as a client today. Sorry, I don't think I quite know what you're talking about. A client, you know, someone who wants to consult you. You know, I'm not a counsellor, nor am I some kind of love expert. That's just something you made me out to be. So I don't take any clients. Why don't we say that you're just letting a friend consult you about their anxieties then? Anything to get me in your room, because I clearly want that special time with you. Any anxieties you're having can't possibly be any good, so no. No, I'm being serious. At the very least, I won't ask you to show your boobs or anything like that. Well, I mean, we're better than that, I suppose. That goes without saying. It's fine, then? I guess I've got no choice. Come on in then. I'm coming in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't. I can't be dirty. No, we have to be sensible and clean. Make sure that um, we're all fucking. I just messed up my hair by doing that. Fuck's sake. Make sure that we're clean and pristine. Now then, let me hear your so-called great anxieties you need to consult me about. I want to consult you about love. Oh, so you finally found someone you like? How nice. Yeah, right in front of me, apparently. I mean, we did kind of do that thing with you, where we said that we wanted someone that would worry and scold and all that, and you were like, mm, maybe. But, you know, that didn't really work out, did it? I'm happy to hear that, since that means you finally won't be coming here anymore. I'm really glad you're finally going to stop spending time with a middle-aged woman like me. Stop saying that. You're not that middle-aged. You're fine. If you're middle-aged, there'd be more wrinkles on you. You know, the person I like is... Ah, that girl from before? Furukawa-san, was it? No, not her. A girl from your class? Or perhaps one from your underclassmen? No, she's older than me. Older? One of your teachers, then? Ah, you better give up with this Miss Fukushima from your English class. She's got a fiancé. No, not her. Then, it's the school health officer, Miss Sengoku? Ah, you better give up on her, too. She's already got a boyfriend. Well, that's another mismatch relationship right there. No, not her either. Oh, well, uh, that's good. I guess things are fine then. Ah, no, there was one more I wanted to tell you about. It's also best you give up on the dorm mother for your, your, the school dorms. Like, do you mean Miss I, like you? Are you talking about yourself here in the third person? Since she's got someone she's still waiting for even now. Someone she met at the school and in the short time they spent together fell in love with. And so, she's now constantly thinking about this person that's no longer here. As such, she cannot fall in love with anyone else anymore. And the times where she was shining has stopped. They've long come and gone. What she does now is continue growing old. That's the kind of gal she is. So you better give up on her. A girl shining with youth would be far better suited to you. But besides, son. Hmm? The person I fell in love with wasn't you from long ago. I fell in love with who you are right now. The woman I met here in this room, spent time with, and finally ended up falling in love with. It doesn't matter whether you're doing nothing but growing old, or that you're not shining anymore the way you used to. That's just the kind of person I ended up falling in love with. I like you as you are right now, Miss Aisan. 
so you really do enjoy making women cry, don't you? And then, Sai San wept like a young girl. Well, we we basically bullied her. We reminded her of the good old days, and then told her, "Well, yeah, you are right. You are shim." And she liked that apparently. I stayed huddled up next to her the entire time, all the while holding the cat in my arms. That was a nice thing to do. Later that night, I had a long dream. Right, please tell me this is a... Alright, listen closely, okay? I've, I've a charm here. Well, this is reading. I'm not listening, am I? I'm reading. Inside, there's a light. Do you know what that light orb I got from that last playthrough? It's a light that has the ability to grant just a single wish. Okay. You're going to take this light and go to her. I don't even know what half I had a wish. And you're going to grant her her wish. What, for her to get her her boy? Do you understand? No. But I'll do it anyway. Um... I mean, there's not any fantasy in this game, is there? I mean, it's fine if there is, if you want to, like, you know, summon some elves and some orcs, but I just kind of thought this was just a real-life anime, slice-of-life thing. The girl I'd been waiting to meet for a long time was standing next to the school gates. She was continually standing on the tip of her toes as if she were looking for someone that had missed the crowd of students walking home from school. Come up close and stand next to her. Oh, dear. This is schoolgirl, Miss I. I preferred you in your house dorm uniform, if I'm honest. Mm. The girl's face goes right to left, then left to right again after a short pause, her eyes following the crowd. I try waving my hand right in front of her when she happens to look my way, but she doesn't respond at all. Mm. And finally, her eyes open up in delight as she finds the person she'd been looking for. The girl rushes up to him. I follow after her. Uh, are you also about to head home, I Igarashi-kun? She calls out to the male students. Yeah, you too, Sagara? Are we like, actually seeing shit from the past, or is this just a dream? Bit of a strange dream to have, but you know. Yep, what a coincidence. So if it's fine with you, maybe we could... Who's that boy with you? Although it looks like he's from a different school, could it be that he's your boyfriend? H huh? Well, I'm sorry for disrupting your time together. Hey, Ir Igarashi, hurry up already. Someone was shouting from the bottom of the hill. I'm coming. The student called Igarashi, I can't say that name, Igarashi, shouts back in reply and starts dashing down the hill. He he's not making a deal with God then, is he? Mm hmm? Sagara-san stands there, dumbfounded. The head slowly turns toward me, almost like a robot. Just who are you? Ah, so you finally noticed me. I'm Katsuki Shima. You remember me, right? Long ago, you helped me out a great deal. Do you remember? I don't remember you, and I also don't recall ever having helped you. Oh, okay. Then why don't we go somewhere, and I'll tell you all about it. Why, you... What is it? Well, because of your smooth talking, he got the wrong idea! She tightens her arm around my neck from behind. It hurts, it hurts. The students going home from school let out some giggles as they watch us. Sigh, whatever, I'm going home. No, but, ah! What now? You still plan on following me around? I want you to tell me your wish. Huh? I came to grant you a wish, so I can't go home until I've granted it. Then, how about you disappear from my sight right this instant? Are you really alright with a wish like that? Not satisfied? Well, if that's really your wish, I will go away. But it's more like I wouldn't feel good about granting a wish like that. I mean, you did so much for me. Mm -hmm. You said your name was Shimakun? Yes. Have you finally remembered? Not in the least. But I figure I'll do my best to try and remember. Well, it's crowded here, so let's go. Are we going to end up dating? I don't know what's happening here. Have we actually time traveled or is some other shit happening? So, where are you saying we met? When you were in middle school, although I was still in elementary school back then. If I'm right, your mother had been hospitalized and you came along with her to the neighboring town. Mm. I was in that hospital's courtyard, sitting in a wheelchair. And you were holding a cat. <gasps> is it the same cat? Well, if it is the same cat from the dream, fine, but... So this is time travel? I don't know anymore, she says. Yes. 
Have you finally remembered? I've become happy. I remember now. So your name was Shimakun. I don't think you ever gave me your name, though. H really? But still. So you've gotten better now. Ah, yes. Right now I can walk all by myself again. I'm glad for that. Congrats. She says to me with a smile. She's happy for me. Yes, and it's all because of you. Mm -hmm. Shimakun. She suddenly wears a serious expression. Yes, what is it? I didn't do anything for you during that time. All I did was talk to you. Hmm? I'm glad I was able to see you healthy again. I really feel glad about it. Hmm? But I haven't done anything that really deserves your gratitude. You understand this? But, well, you really encouraged me back then. And that's the reason I managed to keep on hanging in there. And so because of you, I was able to get better again. Well, I'm happy you feel that way about it. And I'm also happy you came to see me. That's more than enough for me already. No, well, I just wanted to do this for you. I want you to let me. Mm. Grant my wish? That's right. Uh, maybe she's finally figured out how tenacious I am about this. After breathing out a sigh, she finally starts thinking about her wish. But what could it be? Is she going to murder someone? Is she going to get, like, a Walmart all to herself? Is she going to wish to rule the world? Well, we may see that in the next episode. But anyway, if you want to play the game for yourself, see what she wishes, if she wishes to put on the star, and it, will it make a difference who she is? Well, I guess you can see that if you play the game in the description down below. And without further ado, we've got Scrunch Hunter this time. See ya!